Today marks the beginning of our Advent celebration. As a church, we will celebrate the true meaning of the season by going through 28 days of daily devotion and prayer via our Facebook and YouTube channel led by our Charisma family. The theme of our daily devotion is called Unwrapping the Names of Jesus, which was written by Asherita Chuchu. You see, the Christmas season is known as the most wonderful time of the year. We spend so much of our holiday season creating our own winter wonderland, cookies and cards, lights and decorations, carols and get-togethers. But what exactly are we doing to prepare spiritually, especially if we truly believe that Jesus is the reason for the season? You know, people are drawn to light. They say that light heightens their emotions and changes their moods. This is the reason why people are caught up in hanging their holiday lights on their houses and their trees just to get them in a festive mood for Christmas. It sounds fun and all, but in reality, the thrill is only temporary and excitement slowly fades away. In Isaiah chapter 2 verse 9, the Bible says, The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. The prophet Isaiah spoke at a time when the people of Judah have turned their backs on God and chose to rebel against Him. This created the need to warn the people of Israel that judgment will come if they persist in their sin and rebellion. However, he also proclaimed a message of hope and deliverance for those who will repent and return to Him. This same God who promised to shine His light on Israel's darkness is the same God that brings hope and a light to all of us who are struggling in our own darkness today. Amen. You know, as a married couple, we have experienced and seen God's light shine in our darkness when we almost separated and gave up on our marriage 20 years ago. We came to the realization that life is not about us or about our marriage, but it's all about following and doing the very will of God. And in doing so, we both decided to nail our selfish desires on the cross. And that brought healing to our marriage and restored our love for one another, most especially our love for Jesus. If you are going through a difficult season in your life, or maybe you feel like God has not been there for you and have lost hope, May you be reminded today that Jesus came to give you hope and to bring light to your dark situation. Amen. So here's the challenge. As a family, decorate the Christmas tree together. As you hang ornaments, reflect and talk about how the evergreen tree symbolizes life in the middle of winter, even as Jesus is the resurrection and the life. When you glance at the twinkling lights remember that Jesus is the light of the world and he calls us to be shining lights in the darkness consider making ornaments to remind you of Jesus's names find also time to read um, John chapter 8 verse 12 and Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 as a family and pray for one another let us bow down our heads and pray Lord Jesus thank you for being our hope and light it is through your promises that we can face the darkness that surrounds us and find hope, knowing that in you and through you, we can overcome. As we celebrate the true meaning of this Advent season, remind us to share your message of hope to those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. My name is Pastor Boyd Jose. And my name is Mitchie. Jesus, Jesus is, is our hope. hope.